Hello, and welcome to a Forgeborn Hobbies Let's Paint tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I paint the red armor panels on an Ossiarch Bone Reaper's Mortec Guard model for Warhammer Age of Sigmar. If you'd like to see how I painted the rest of this model, please check out the full length video in the playlist on my channel page. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to get started with this model, I have given it the base coat of the other colors, a dry brush of gray sear and a dry brush of Dawnstone, and we're just going to go straight into the red. I've used Galvorvac red, and I've painted all of the armor panels. This includes on the chest piece, the shoulder panels, and the main part of the shield. This is going to take a couple of coats because Galvorvac red is a pretty thin paint, or at least mine is and we're going to need two or three thin coats. It's the best way to do things. A good solid color here will help a lot in the next color, which is going to be Word Bearer's Red. And I'm going to apply this with a smaller brush. I'm only applying this to the upper half of each panel. So this is going to take a hot second in order to do. I want to see that there is actually a really bold color transition so that it will distinctly look like two layers at this point, but we're actually going to go back and fix that later. The next thing that we're going to add in is Mephiston Red, and I'm going to use a fine detail brush for this because I'm only going to highlight the very edges of each panel. I'm not going to do any kind of blocky highlight. I'm going to try to get as sharp and clean and neat of a line as I can on each of those panels. This actually goes pretty quickly uh, once you get started. I'm showing this at four times speed just to save you some time. So you can imagine that maybe across a bunch of models that would take a hot second, but this should be fine. The last thing that we're going to do is give this a coat of a custom contrast paint wash. Mine is made of two and a half parts contrast medium to one part basilicanum gray contrast, which is two full bottles of contrast medium to one full bottle of basilicanum gray contrast paint. And I end up painting this over the entire model, but for the purposes of this, you can see where I'm putting it on the red. It goes on pretty thick, but when it dries, it will cling just to the recesses. It will also help to even out the highlighting that we've done earlier. In the end, it gives this really dramatic, really desaturated tone in the shadows and a very bright, vibrant edge that just looks really good on the tabletop. And there you have it. The red armor on this Mortec guard is done and ready to go. If you like this video and you want to see more of the process, feel free to watch the rest of the playlist on my channel. I will be releasing clipped videos like this to show just single parts of the process from the full video as time goes on. I hope that you found this particular video helpful to you. I hope that you are able to learn something from it. I hope that this helps you as you paint your own Mortec Guard miniatures. If you have any questions or comments, ideas, suggestions, please leave them as a comment down below this video. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more of my hobby content that I post on a much more regular basis, go to my Instagram page, also linked in the description below. But for now, and until we meet again, stay safe and keep painting.